Agent Emerson. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Gordon. Good to see you. Doing great. That's great. Well, you shot this about 16 months ago. How's the process been for a, it's about a seven minute running time, correct? Uh, it's, actually, it's about 15 with the credits. 15 minutes. Yeah. Which is a sweet spot for virtual reality of this generation, in my opinion. Excellent. So tonight, the guests will come in and watch the show in virtual reality with the special Oculus glasses, correct? Uh, with HTC glasses. It's HTC's Vive Pro's incredible, incredible picture quality. I'm looking forward to people seeing it in these headsets. When the movie begins, you, the agent is sitting in a seat as well. So this theater is perfect because it kind of brings it close on a physical level, especially for the beginning of the movie. Virtual reality mode. Was anything different when you got to the edit or is it exactly how you felt when you started filming? Well, virtual reality is a new frontier and we had to plan everything in advance to be ready for anything which comes our way. So it's still directing the audience from storytelling point of view and thinking where the audience would look in the 360, 3D dimensional space around. So it was all planned out and we used techniques which I used in theater, which I used in magic tricks and of course in movies. Is it a little bit different shooting VR versus regular filmmaking from what you were trained? It is completely different. Uh, it takes a lot from cinema, but it does from theater, it does from video games and uh, many other amazing mediums. It's just forming new on the base of uh, older, older mediums legacy. Did you get everyone off set in order to cover a 360 degree view? Well, uh, getting anything out of shot is relatively simple when it comes to regular movies. In our film, granted the camera was moving, the 21 lenses were moving and shooting 3D at the same time. So that poses a challenge with removing unwanted objects. So we were very careful on set. Throughout the post-production, we didn't find anything I planned in the shot. We had a great team. You're at the forefront of this. What does it feel like to kind of be a pioneer in this? Uh, the entertainment marking is always changing and the storytelling is always changing and technology throughout the history of cinema has always, may, always made its contribution. So it's exciting to be the part of that process here in the United States with the amazing platforms which it is coming on and also with the, the theatrical release in Russia which is in a movie theater which is on a moving platform. Now, uh, when I was on set, Tony Dennison looked like the general. When I look at him post, you couldn't have cast a better person than Tony Dennison for the project. Oh, Tony Dennison is absolutely incredible. He has this strong presence, which is absolutely necessary for the character of the general. You feel the threat as he is standing next to you. Well, Tony is incredible, and so is Lindsay Fonseca, who brought Alex alive. And this moment when she just looks directly in the eye, that's one of the strongest moments in the film, and maybe my personal favorite. Now watching Fonseca do her, her own stunts, basically, with her sword, did you, was there extra training she had to go through, or did she bring that from all her past career? Well, uh, Lindsay Fonseca, she went through incredible process. Her experience was amazing, but this required a slightly different approach as well. So on foundation of her experience, we worked with amazing stunt coordinators to build this sequence because VR poses a different challenges to stunt coordination. So that is very, very special in its design and she did amazingly. It's such an immersive sequence, you just feel like you are there with her fighting the katana battle.